20,000 fallen soldiers are buried right here in our area. And today, family and friends came to honor the memory of those brave folks we call heroes. Fox 31's Red Spigner connects us to that story. It's a day to remember. Memorial Day is the most important thing we do at Andersonville National Historic Site and the Andersonville National Cemetery. And for the speaker and war veteran, it's more than a holiday. Almost 100 years later, the federal government redesignated it by federal law to Memorial Day. It's special to me. My dad and I were in Vietnam at the same time on my second tour. And then I got to serve on active duty with my oldest son, who's retired now. You know, federal holidays now, it's, it's all about family time. What about those that came before? Saturday morning, you know, well over 200 volunteers put 19,000 American flags at every grave in the cemetery. And we do this to remember. One woman came down from New York to honor her great-great-grandfather who fought in the Civil War and is buried right here. He was captured and put into Andersonville Prison and died in August 1864. William Keeley is buried next to other fallen soldiers of the Civil War. It's to me, it's, it's, it's an honor for me to be able to honor him. Reyes Pigner Fox, 31 News.